Welcome to an extended play, a blog or vlog about music, vinyl stuff, you name it, we do it here. My name is Shane, I'm your host, nice to meet you. And today we're going to be talking about why I don't have a favorite band or artist. There's a very good reason why I don't have a favorite band or artist. Back in the day, I used to have a ton of favorite bands and a ton of favorite artists, almost to the point where I could talk your head off talking about the entire situation. However, nowadays I find myself not even having a favorite band or artist to even speak of. Back in the day, I would tell you my favorite band is Rise Against, and Rise Against is a very popular punk band. Most people know their songs if you heard them on the radio or whatnot, but you have heard of them. See, Rise Against got me through a lot of things, and that's why they were my favorite band. I had a reason for them being my favorite band, and that was pretty much it. However, when time went on and I discovered more and more music, I decided that I really didn't need a favorite band anymore. And the reason for that is because I feel like you don't need a favorite band because there's so many of them. There's so many artists or bands out there that why do you need to favorite one over the others? Of course, there's some that you're gonna like more than others, but why is it that we favorite this one over the other? Now, Rise Against did get me through a bunch of hard times. However, there's a lot of bands that have done that for me. It wasn't just their music exclusively. It was a bunch of different music. And I feel like nowadays everything is subject to judgment. So when I tell someone, hey, this is my favorite band, they immediately have a connotation of me for some reason that, hey, they like this band, so they only like this type of music. However, that's not correct at all. Because of Rise Against being my favorite band, I decided to listen to more uh, loud music, fast music, whatever, heavier music. And from there on out, it just got different from there and diverse from there. Of course, they're one of the bands that influenced my music taste. However, nowadays, I don't even listen to them that much. The only time I hear them is when I listen to them on the radio and that's about it. Of course, I pop it in every now and again, but it doesn't have the same connection to me as it used to. See, having a favorite band is cool and all, and I think that it's a healthy way to listen to music. However, I feel like sometimes when people get in this favorite band type of thing, they only listen to the one artist and that's it, nothing else. And when you go and you ask people about their favorite bands, you're immediately judging them for what they're listening to, meaning that, hey, they listen to so-and-so, they're only listening to so-and-so bands. So nowadays, when I talk about music with people, I can go a mile a minute talking about it, but when it comes to that question, I don't really answer it because I don't need to. I really don't have a favorite band, and everything that I listen to is different. I think the coolest thing about music is that there's something out there for everyone. And when you think about it, you don't have to like it, you don't have to know anything about it, but you do have to respect it. It is a piece of artwork. Kind of like in the gallery here, uh, there's tons of artwork over here. So I kind of like compare music taste to walking through an art gallery. That piece may not be your favorite band, neither may that one be. But however, you still gotta respect and like the music regardless, so. That's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video, and as always, we will see you next time. Peace.